DTF. Will it DTF? <laughs> Let's find out. Just know, I didn't ask it, but you know I'm gonna answer it. I was struggling to come up with a reason where you would want to do that, cause it's just gonna make it feel extra thick. Then I went to Impressions Expo in Long Beach and someone asked me this exact question. And what happened in their situation was a school printed a graphic and it had a typo. It said 2023 to 2014. No one caught it until all the shirts were printed and pressed and the school didn't have the budget to reprint all of them. So they were hoping to fix it by placing a two over the one. So here's a DTF graphic that I printed and pressed on this shirt with the wrong date. It should read 1999 to 2024. Now we can't simply just print a four and press it over the three as the three will partially show through. So we need to also create a background that's the color of the shirt to cover the three. Since this is a white shirt, it should be a bit easier, but you can use a NYX color scanner to find the exact color of your shirt that you're working with. Now I'll make that color the background and I'll use as little white as possible to cover the three. Now I'm using normal time, temp and pressure. We also came up with a few other use case scenarios where you might DTF on DTF. So let's do those and then we'll see all the results at the end of the video. Now let's say you wanted a graphic that had some glitter, but not over everything. I separated this design into glitter and non-glitter and printed them. Now I'm gonna press the non-glitter one first. And then lay the glitter one over, making sure I have everything lined up perfectly. Now don't worry about pressing the original graphic multiple times. It won't hurt it. Just like it won't hurt you to press that like button and subscribe. And it helps our channel out, so thanks. Finally, we thought about a fun interactive project of making a photo collage. So I printed all of these Polaroids and we're going to lay them out on the actual garment and then press them. This gives you the opportunity to choose your layout and look based on the garment, not just on your computer screen. Once you choose your layout, take off the top layers since any overlap on the film won't allow it to stick properly. Press the bottom layer, peel them, and then press the next layer over the top of it. So, will DTF, DTF? Um, sort of, yeah, it does actually a pretty good job. Uh, this one, from a distance, it looks pretty good. But as you get up close, I can still kind of see the three under the four. So I would just use a little more white under base. Again, you're not doing this because you want it to feel amazing. You're not stressed about feeling if you're putting a DTF transfer on DTF already. So yeah, a little more white under base on that. It was the same thing on this particular project. Uh, obviously I probably should have used a little bit smaller photographs, but the idea of it worked. I kind of went with the vibe that we we're doing like a high school reunion. So this is all your 2012 classmates. Um, but this worked out pretty good. Again, um, it's going to feel a little thicker. I can see some of the, un the ones that were under kind of like showing through. So again, I would probably turn up the white under base. I think that's a, a theme I can definitely say if you're going to DTF on DTF, you need more white underbase for sure. Now, this glitter one um, worked out pretty good. There's a little bit of a spot where I wasn't quite lined up, but one thing I noticed with this one is the glitter film I used, I'm not sure how long it's been out. I think it was stored improperly because the glitter kind of came off in some other areas. So this is a good opportunity to let you know a little tip is if you only use like a specialty film like glitter or glow in the dark, you need to store it in a plastic bag sealed up with maybe a silica pack in it or two. Um, because if you leave it out, it will kind of deteriorate. And that's kind of what happened with this one. So there's glitter on spots. I didn't necessarily want it, but I think that comes down to using an old film that was not stored properly. Cause I literally just kind of found it in the back. <laughs> so, so this, this I think would work great, uh, especially if you're wanting to integrate some different specialty films, uh, depending on what you guys are using. So, uh, yeah, so I think it was a pretty good test. I don't see you wanting to do it a whole lot, but you can. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.